Hey YouTube, don't worry, I'm going to reveal the, the dream horn in just a moment. Um, but I want to open up with this. There are different levels of dream instruments. I don't actually have a list of horns that I want to get at some point. I do have friends with that kind of stuff. Hello, fine tails, yes. Um, probably not watching this video. I do have friends that have lists of like, I want to get these horns kind of like in this order. I don't have that. I have played a lot of horns in my time. Sometimes I'm like, you know what? It'd be pretty neat if I ended up with one of those at some point. And there's lots of things that I see and have not played. And I'm like, ooh, that'd be nice to have. But there are different tiers of dream instrument. For example, not at the bottom, but in the lower like third of the tiers is a King 1485. This is the King Symphony bass trombone. They're small bore by today's standards. But at the time, they're bass trombones with a sterling silver bell, F attachment, etc. I just think they're super neat. They play pretty well. I've played one with a sterling silver bell. I think they're really cool. Would I use it? Eh, probably not. But just a really interesting instrument. So someday, I would like to get one for a pretty cheap price just to have. I'm not much of a collector, per se. I do have a lot of trombones. Um, that's something I would like to collect. And there are other instruments like that. Um, there's a <laughs> Hello Cat. There's a few instruments like uh, a Bach R bell. That's the Sterling Silver Bell, either for Bach 16, Bach 36, or Bach 42. Honestly, I'd be okay with any of those because I probably wouldn't use that either, but I would like to have it. I think that'd be pretty neat. The 42 is probably the most useful one, but honestly, I'd be happy with any of those at some point. Again, not something I would spend a ton of money on because it's not very useful, but it'd be neat. There are definitely some bass trombones that I've played where I'm like, yeah, wouldn't mind at least owning for a while one of these instruments. I've played a couple like um, Shires. Um, there's a commercial model with a 10-inch gold bell. I actually know the guy who bought this personal, there's or this uh, specific instrument that was one of the best Shires I've ever played. There's a Shires George Coran that I played at Nam once that was also in the top two of Shires that I've ever played. A um, couple instruments like that where I'm like, that specific instrument, that was pretty special. Do I expect to own that? No, but I, I just keep it in mind as a general thing. Like that, that was a, sp a really special instrument. And then there's the kind of like top tier of dream instruments. And these are mostly instruments I never expect to own. For instance, the... Lech bass trumpet. Um, Lech is a German maker, of course. I went to the Lech bass trum or the trombone festival in 2018. Got to play a bunch of them, and it was an amazing experience otherwise. But I played the bass trumpet specifically at the booth. C bass trumpet, orchestral bass trumpet, with carbon fiber rotors. Super cool instrument. I just picked it up and noodled on it, and I was like, this is one of the best brass instruments I've ever played. I mean, I'm not talking about just bass trumpets, because the bar for those, not super high. I'm talking about all brass instruments. It was one of the easiest things I've ever played. It was insane how good it was, but also good at being a bass trumpet. It didn't really sacrifice any of the bass trumpet things to be good at being a brass instrument. It just did both. That was mind-blowing. That's one of those instruments where I'm like, yes, I would love to have one. I'm not going to pay $11,000 to get one. And so it's it's in that dream category, but I just don't think about it. Another one of those instruments is the Lech Contrabass Trombone. Also with carbon fiber rotors. Um, they offer this in a few different configurations. I've played two of the normal ones with the carbon fiber rotors, but with a non-cut bell. I feel like I've played one in American tuning and one in German tuning. I've also played one with a cut bell in American tuning. My friend Daniel owns that one. And I've played an older model, the previous generation, with the non-carbon fiber uh, rotors, and it was in German tuning. That was also very good. All of those instruments were in the top 5% of trombones I've ever played. I'm not talking contrabass trombones, because honestly the bar for that is pretty low as well. Um, a good contrabass trombone is not necessarily a good trombone. Like, they're really weird and uneven, not easy to play. 
but it's good for contrabass, you know, like, eh, it's good enough. No, the Letch contrabass trombones are amazing trombones, which is kind of weird. I don't, I don't know how they did that. In any case, I have one of those. Yes, I bought a Leitch SL600 contrabass trombone without the cut bell, with the carbon fiber rotors in German tuning just recently, a little, a little bit too long ago for me to be showing it now because it took so long to get here. But this is my instrument. This is the best contrabass trombone that I think exists. And for some reason, I own it. Again, this is not an instrument I ever expected to own. I played these contrabass trombones several times at ITF. I played them at the Lech uh, uh, Festival in 2018, a year after ITF. And I was like, these are amazing. They're the best contrabasses I've ever played and some of the best trombones I've ever played. And promptly erased them from my mind because honestly, I don't want to think about an instrument that I'll never be able to afford. I'm probably never going to see again because there's not a lot of these in the United States. I mean, as far as I know, this is the only one. There's probably a couple others. And so I just never thought about it. I already have a contrabass trombone. And honestly, it's pretty good. It sounds pretty good. It's not the most even thing. Again, not a, an amazing trombone, but a pretty good contrabass trombone. And somehow, I lucked into this. I'm not going to say it was cheap, but it was definitely used and much less expensive than the $17,000 new price. I did not pay that much. I didn't play, pay anywhere near that much. And obviously, I've had to sell a lot of stuff to finance it, but I now own the best contrabass trombone that the world has to offer. I've played the Times, I've played the Marcus Loiker, I've played the Canstools, I've played the Hogs. I've kind of played not all of them. I'm not going to say I have all the contrabass experience, and I'm not by far the best contrabass player that I know. But out of all of them, this is the most trombone the easiest, the easiest to hold, the best ergonomics. I mean, literally every category, this is the best contrabass trombone that there is. And somehow I own it. So I just want to get across that I never expected to own an instrument of this caliber, and yet I do. So what do I think of it? Well, <laughs> due to many <laughs> events, I've not had a lot of time to play it. Um, it was supposed to show up more than a week ago. I had to do a bunch of stuff with customs because it came from Europe and it came while I was out of town. I came back, was super busy. And so the only time I've had to play is when I've been super, super tired from a day at Disney twice. And uh, here it is. And it's just as good as I thought it was going to be. It's one of the best trombones I've ever played. Um, and I can't really do it justice right now, but let's see. Just a couple notes to give you an idea. It's one of the easiest trombones I've ever played, even though it's in F and it has German tuning and it's a super big and long and heavy and all this other stuff. It's amazing. Anyway, I just wanted to share this amazing instrument with you. I will have so much more about it later. I can like barely play it right now because I've just played my butt off for like, I don't know, a month straight basically. And I've not had time to really put some time in on this, but this is a dream instrument and it's a dream come true. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Very happy to have literally like the top tier of my dream instrument crossed off. Probably not going to cross off many more of those. I'm not going to get this lucky again, but here it is. Leish SL600 contrabass trombone, carbon fiber valves in German tuning. It's mine. That's all I got. Bye-bye.